Good morning, student. In our previous period of English, we completed up to three. Underline the verbs and arrange them in two columns: past and earlier past. So now, in this period, we're moving on further exercise portion of this unit. In our textbook, in page twenty, writing. One, imagine that you are Jim. You have returned to your town after the war. You, your diary record how you feel about the changes you see and the events that occur in your town. You could begin like this. So some hint is given that how we begin st uh, the diary record that we have to write down. and what we have to write down in this diary record after the war when we return to our town then whatever the changes we see in our town whatever the events we see that occur there so we have to write down that in this diary record so first we have to write down date 25th december 1919 and then after we can start in our own words and it's just a hint is given that how we have to begin so now let's start 25th december 1919 it's christmas today but the town looked somewhat different our country had been fighting against germany now the war is over and we come back home my wife is overjoyed to get the most valuable christmas gift in me but our country has lost many brave soldiers many of them belonged to our town yet the people of my town are not distressed they consider the killed soldier as martyrs they are celebrating christmas in their memory but it lacks its usual zeal and zest zeal so now next one suppose you are the visitor you are in dilemma you don't know dilemma that is you are in a confused situation that you don't know whether to disclose your identity and disappoint the old lady or let her let her believe that her dear jim has come back write a letter to a friend highlighting your anxiety fears and feeling so now what we have to write down in this that we have to suppose ourselves as a visitor and we are in a confused situation that we facing some confused situation that you don't know whether to disclose your identity and disappoint the old lady or let her believe that her dear jim has come back so now we have to write a letter to a friend highlighting your anxiety fears and feeling so start bridport 26 december 2020 dear friend i am in a huge dilemma i have come through a strange incident i bought an old desk from a junk shop it was in bad condition in a secret drawer of the desk i found a letter it was addressed to one mrs macpherson i noted the address and reached there but the house had burned to ashes the lady had left the place one of her neighbors told me that she was in a nursing home he also told me 
the address of the nursing home i reached there with the letter in my pocket the lady was 101 years old she had lost her power of recognition her husband jim had not returned from the war she had become old while waiting for his return when i gave her the letter as a christmas gift her face brightened and tears of happiness rolled down her eyes in fact she mistook me for jim i did not want to disappoint her so i kept mum she still believes that i am her jim dear friend i have some fears and concerns regarding the situation should i disclose my identity or not please guide me do write to me soon your friend mike so some confused situation is that that we facing we have to imagine ourselves as a visitor and then we facing that situation that we have to uh tell that lady that i am not her jim we have to disclose our identity or not so we take some guidance from our friend now the second question given below is the outline of a story construct the story using the outline so now some outline of the story is given and we have to now construct story from that outline a young newly married doctor freedom fighter axel to the andaman and nicobar by the british in famous cellular so here axeled means the state of being banned from your native country a person who lives in axel expel and ban someone from their native country so exiled to the andaman and nicobar island by the british in famous cellular jail prisoners tortured revolted by inmates doctor hanged wife waits for his return becomes old continues to wait with hope and faith so now the story a young newly married doctor came into contact with a renowned freedom fighter renowned means known or talked about by many people renowned freedom fighter and got involved in the indian freedom struggle he was exiled to the andaman and nicobar islands by the british he was imprisoned in the famous cellular jail the prisoners were tortured there some of his inmates revolted revolted the doctor supported the revolters revolters someone who revolts a rebel or deserter for these the doctor was hanged till death his wife waited for his return but he never came back she became old and weak but she did not lose hope and faith she continued to wait for him she hoped that their happy days would return soon now the exercise portion of poem the ant and the cricket have a look on it so in our textbook page number 23 answer the following questions are given so let's start one the cricket says oh what will become of me when does he say it and why 
The cricket says this when winter sets in. He says so because he has saved nothing for winter. His cupboard is empty and he has nothing to eat. He is sure to die of starvation. Then two, one, find in the poem the lines that mean the same as neither a borrower nor a lander be. Shakespeare. So, in this poem, it is we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. Then after two, what is your opinion of the ants principle? So answer, the ants principle has a strong logic. It is based on the fact that borrowing and lending are the seasons of love and friendship. Then three, the ant tells the cricket to Dance the winter away. Do you think the word dance is appropriate here? If so, why? Answer, the word dance here is very much appropriate. It is used as a satire on the idleness of the cricket. Then four. Which lines in the poem, the ant and the cricket, express the poet's comment? Read them aloud. So answer, folks call this a fable. I will warrant it true. Some crickets have four legs and some have two. Now, write the comment in your own words. If you know a fable, in your own language, narrate it to your classmate. So, the poet says that the story is not an imaginary one. He can prove it true. There are crickets of different kinds. And the question is that if you know a fable in your own language, narrate it to your classmate. So, you just read it. By yourself, narrate to yourself. Okay, so student, here textbook portion of unit 1 is complete. So, in this period, up to this much, you just go through with it. Whatever we just now have completed, in the next video, we will meet. Till then, take care of yourself. Stay at your home. Stay safe. Whatever we done, we completed. Just revise it once again. And further workbook portion of unit 1. We will continue in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.